Hey, Eagle Run 2-3 here. Over on the Eagle Reloads channel, thank you so much for joining us. Look what just came in from Anilis. 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 Yes, we have an annealer. I'm assuming this means made in America. Fantastic. Let's check this unit out. So real simple construction here, but it looks like the magic is all right here. And we've got a power cord that goes on the side. The kit also came with a brass torch. Um, I picked up a couple bottles of propane. I wasn't sure if the threads on this are the same as they are on like the green camping propane bottles. I actually prep those and have lots of them. Um, we'll test that out eventually, but for now we're just gonna go with this because we went ahead and picked them up. So we got them, we'll use them. I think this is what is intended to be used. Let's see what else came in the kit. We got our power cord and we also got a little bottle holder. And I also appreciate that they cared to source this as a USA made product as well. Um, I wonder if Benzomatic is USA made. It is made in the USA with global components. Uh, good enough. I'll take that. Right, let me get some of this uh, set up here and sorted and I'll be right back with you when I'm ready to turn it on. Okay, I think we have this set up. Now, it turns out that they do want you to use the large green propane bottles. So I had to shim myself a board in here because clamp doesn't get tight enough around the blue bottle. Lesson learned, I bought two of those, but no big deal. We'll work through these and we'll just move on to the green ones as needed. Now, they want, I, I didn't read the instructions. There's really not much for instructions, but they do want you to watch a video. And they really want this bottle to like sneak up from behind and this tip should be pointed, the flame should be kind of pointed out. So we're gonna play with this a little bit. Let's um, let's see what happens. I don't know what 56% means. I'm gonna count here, one, two, three, four, three and a half, four seconds. Two, three, four, yeah, something like that. Let's try this one. One, two, three, four, yeah. Um, I don't know what that'll do. So let's, we're not gonna anneal this brass because it's already a load. Um, although this is unannealed brass, we'll catch it next time. Um, I've got a bunch of 6.5 Creedmoor that needs annealed. Okay, I'm just about ready to fire this thing up. A couple things. Got myself a metal tray here. I have a couple of these picked up at the dollar store or something. They're real handy when I'm processing brass, cleaning brass. Um, anyway, I have a couple of these. There's even a smaller one, um, but this is the only one that's available, so we're going to use it. Uh, I think it probably makes sense not to use plastic. Um, next, I, I haven't fired this up yet, so we're, gonna, we're almost ready to fire this up. I just want to make sure that my, my, they say your flame should only be about an inch, and they say they really want you to hit the neck with the blue part, so uh, we're going to have to get that dialed in a little bit. I don't know where it's going to set. I probably should turn this off and let that set right there. Uh, we can sacrifice a piece of brass if we end up frying something here um all right are we ready for the first run okay so we're going to use a torch to start the torch okay it doesn't seem That's about as low. Oh, it doesn't take much. I feel like I've almost got it all the way closed off. 
It feels really good though. It's like seven degrees outside in Texas right now. Let's see where that's setting. Let's see if we can get it right on the shoulder. Oh, okay. Maybe like that. So I don't believe that was long enough. I'm gonna say that is not long enough. Let's practice on a couple of these. Here, this is a smasher right here. Let's practice on that dude. Um, this is mixed head stamp brass that we'll probably be chopping into Creed or to uh, 86 Blackout. Okay, we need to be a little closer, it looks like. We also need to be a little slower. Ooh. Well, let's see if we can tell anything from this now. Well, it did not get red hot. So let's slow it down. Okay, so we are finally getting somewhere. We have got that tip touching the shoulder, that blue flame, and it is heating up for us. Getting all fired up and turning red. Uh, it's a little longer time than what I thought it would be. Nice. Okay, so in looking at these, I, and again, this brass is not clean. This is our test brass. I feel like we're real close to where we need to be. I'm going to send two new pieces of Starline down here for you and turn the lights off. And let's make sure that they're doing what we're supposed to do. Now, the next time you turn this machine on, yeah, I think it'll stay at 35%, but I'm going to have to make sure the tip is exactly. So it is a little fidgety to, to get it set up, but I think that I would get it set up, do 100 or 200 or 500, and then put this machine away and not use it again for a while. I'm not going to be annealing all the time. At least that's how I think I'm going to be using the machine. So um, let's get this cleared out here. And... When it's so cold, I can see my breath out here. It's so cold that brass cools down real quick. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, it looks like I probably could even go a little bit more. I don't know if you can see the coloration on there, but it looks like it comes down just there, and I think I want it to come down a little bit further. It's about right there. Can you see that in the light right there? 
So I'm gonna keep playing with it and I'm gonna run probably all of this mixed head stamp stuff that we're gonna turn into 8.6 and I might even do a good sized batch of this stuff that we're gonna turn. Um, we need to anneal it whether we're reloading it for Creedmoor or Blackout. So we gotta do it either way. So I guess we'll uh, get set up for a run, but I'm gonna leave you there. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'm an annealer now, all right. Quality product here from Annealese. If you don't have one, check them out. Eagle Run 2-3, we'll see you next time.